Well, greetings, Series 7 test takers. This is uh, Dean Tenney, Series 7 guru, coming to you from my studio in fabulous Las Vegas. We just finished up our live stream, and we had a couple QAD uh, explication requests. The best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. Uh, but if you don't have a Kaplan Q Bank, I highly recommend it in Quick Sheets with my Guru 10 discount code at checkout. You can get a Q Bank for about 60 bucks and laminated Quick Sheets for about 20. For that commercial, you get a free look at Kaplan questions. So first thing I should recognize is that this is a covered call or a buy right. You know, I would be able to identify this as an option strategy. We do a covered call to generate additional income. The first thing before I get started, I kind of say, well, uh, looks like this might be a legacy question because it's still in fractions and options have not been quoted in fractions for years and years and years. So to make my life easier, I think I'll just take care of that right now. And that's going to be 375. Okay, so a lot going on in this question. What is the customer's max gain, max loss, break even point? So uh, I think what I would do, I always recommend we fire up a T to track dollars out, dollars in. You can either memorize stuff, but I always tell people, if you go down the memory road, the amount of things you're going to have to memorize is going to continue to compound. So I like to use dollars out versus dollars in. Some people like to use debits and credits, pluses or minuses, whatever floats your boat. So here I paid out for the stock 48. So I'm going to put that in there. And I brought in for the option 375. And you know, what I like to do is I just like to look at my T so I can either memorize that the break even in a covered call or buy right is stock cost 48 minus premium 375. It's the one time and the one time only. This is not gonna be 5375 because this is not an option position. This is a stock position. Break even is the same dollars out as dollars in. So, you know, right at this point, I could shop my answer set and I could just look for a number that if I plug it in here would make the columns balance because that's what break even is, is same dollars out as dollars in. So, you know, to make that ba balance, I do get some price decline by the tech, uh, by the way. I lowered my out of pocket cost from 48 down to my break even, which is 44 and a quarter. So I did get some price decline protection. So the break even is 44 and a quarter. And that's one of my questions. So let's just put that there. So let's get rid of uh, that. We've now answered that. I uh, just check it, make sure it makes the columns balance. Okay, so our next question is, uh, what is the maximum gain? Uh, I have to deliver the stock at the strike price. There's a ceiling here. I don't participate past 50. That is the disadvantage of a covered call so that I don't participate past the strike price. I, th I think of that as a ceiling right there. Now, if you need to, I highly recommend, if you need to, that below the option leg, you just remind yourself what you're looking at. And what you're looking at is an obligation to sell the stock at the strike price. If you didn't want to do that, you shouldn't have collected that money. Yeah, let's just put that in a smaller font. So that's what that is. So anyways, if I sell it at 50, so now I'll just plug that in there, I'm not gonna participate past the strike price. That will be my max gain. And I put that in there. And so the most I can make is the most I'm bringing in is 53 and three quarters. And I paid out 48. Now again, you could memorize that it's the break even 44 and a quarter to the 50. So, you know, another way I could have done this is I could have said, well, I'm net out of pocket 44 and a quarter and I have to deliver that stock at 50. Now I do things on a per share basis, but then when I'm all done, you know, I just have to remember that we're talking about a hundred shares. The break-even is always expressed per share, but max gain, they'll never give you both, by the way. They won't give you, you know, the choice of saying five and three quarters or 575, it'll be one or the other. So the max gain, is the five and three quarters, five 
and then we're talking about 100 shares here. So the maximum gain is uh, $575. And let's put that on a smaller, smaller font. So it looks like the last thing we got to figure out here is what is our max loss? So our max loss is when the stock goes to zero, right? When the stock goes to zero, I'm going to lose $48 on the stock. And I get to keep the three and three quarters. In other words, I can just net these two out. And that would be my max loss. Now you can either me memorize that as well. You can memorize that the maximum loss is the break even to zero, right? I'm out net out of pocket 44 and a quarter. So my maximum loss is going to be 44 and a quarter. Again, we're talking about a hundred shares. And so that's going to be 4,000. $425. And let's put that on a smaller font. Why don't we do a little bigger than that? Boom. All right. So that was a lot of stuff going on in that question. Uh, so again, an investor opens the following position, buys 100 shares at uh, 48. Let's just review real quick. And again, we said you can either memorize or you can just, uh, you know, Track money. If you are good at contract specifications, can track money, you're going to be in pretty good shape. So an investor opens the following position. They buy 100 shares at 48. So there's where we bought our 100 shares at 48. We're out 48 for the stock. And right to December 50 call at three and three quarters, 375. So that's our initial setup. I can memorize that the break even and strike a stock cost 48 minus premium for 44 and a quarter. Or I can just look at that and say, that's what I need to make it do it work. So there's our break even. Uh, our maximum gain is when we sell the stock at 50. We don't participate past the strike. So the most we're bringing in is 53.75. We paid out 48. So the most we can make is five and three quarters or $575. If we're wrong, the stock goes to zero. We lose 48 points on the stock. We get to keep the 375 for the option. So we lose 44 and a quarter on 100 shares. We lose $4,425. Uh, remember, inch by inch, your series seven is a cinch. Yard by yard, your series seven is hard. And uh, I hope you join me February 15th, 2023. The internet lives forever. I'll be doing a basic option class. Not, it's uh, $45. We go over uh, seven of the nine option strategies you're held accountable for. Long call, short call, long put, short put, covered call, protective put and how to effectively hedge a short stock position. You're welcome to record that. And I'll put the link to deantennetutoring.setmore.com. And you can check out the description and uh, hopefully you can join us. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.